So I created a, a sub and you know gave it a name, refresh data, and let's uh, let's look and see what's going on in the script. The first thing we need to do is we need to be able to tell the script where the database actually is. And I've done it both ways. So some of you are going to be on just native Windows machines where you're going to need to be able to go in and find out where that database is stored. You'll need to have a drive reference and then you'll have a place where you've a folder where you've actually stored your database. And so this is a good example of that where I've actually gone right down to where I've got the file name and in the folders right down to the path where that is. Uh, after I started, I moved over to, because some of our students are going to be working on machines that use a virtual machine like Fusion. I finished it over here and found out where Excel can find it within Fusion. And so I want to show you how this can be found because it'll probably it'll be helpful. So basically, let's get our file explorer and go find that file. So it's in my downloads folder and it's in this Chinook folder and here it is right here so it's this Chinook and it's it's this access database file now where is that well if you look at it in your file manager it just says this PC that's a little bit of sleight of hand because if you just put this PC in download in Chinook then it's not a good enough or specific enough reference what's happening is VMware is just trying to make it a little bit simpler for you to look at but it's not going to help you in your script so what we need to do is we need to go find out where this file really is stored and the easy way to do that is to go and uh, click on this with your mouse and select properties and what we'll do is it will show you the real location it shows you that uh, really from here on back is the part that the virtual machine is is really sort of like giving the base for and so this is really where it's going to be stored down to downloads and then Chinook in fact if I if I mouse over it here you can see the entire path that's where that file is so how I got this was I right clicked on that file and in my file manager and went out and found out all the way down to including the file name with the file extension and put that in quotes so now I assigned this I declared this as a string and gave it a name this is the, where the database is going to be located and it's a constant it's not going to change once I've assigned that then that's going to be stable and unchanging so we just called it a constant instead of declaring it as a variable in VBA we just declared it as a constant so what's happening is in a, in a minute here we're going to go make a call to this database and instead of having to put this big long string in there we've assigned this big long string to something that we've called db loc for db location and that will just make it so that it keeps the code easy to easy to work with from here on out we also need to declare some other objects some that we'll have seen before and some that we won't have seen before we have to use this data access object and use a method called database so basically what we're going to do is we're going to open up the database access object and give it a database to work with we're also on that very same object we also have a record set method that allows us to go in and just find records within that database we also are defining a book and a sheet so we can tell our code where we, where we want to paste this stuff back into we can say this specific workbook and this specific sheet in that workbook also we're going to need to, be, need to be able to figure out how many records that we're bringing in the reason we're doing this is because we're going to put some summary data down at the bottom so once we bring that data in then we're going to go down to the below that last record and we're going to you know sum up some things and uh, you know make some sort of like summary information at the bottom of the data that we bring in so I've got to be able to find out how many records I'm bringing in and this just gives us a place to to record that and I'll show you later how we go grab that the number of records that we're going to bring in that resulted from that query and then we need to have something that we call in our SQL I could have called it my SQL I could have called it the SQL whatever I just gave it a name SQL because it's easy to remember and so this is going to contain the instructions in the SQL query and so I just declared a string that I could put in my various instructions, my select from, where, you know, all those clauses all in one big long string. 
so that we can you know pass that in when we're ready to go do our getting our data by using that SQL string then I'm also going to go down and I'm going to say whatever my active